the extensor compartment. The extensor compartment or the posterior compartment divide into superficial and deep muscle. The superficial muscle, five muscle, while the deep four muscle. The superficial muscle is originated from the medial epicondyle of the humerus. Lateral epicondyle of the humerus, which is the common extensor tendon here. Mm -hmm. This is the site of the origin of all those five muscles. The first one, Anconius, originated from the lateral epicondyle inserted into the olecranon. The action of this muscle is extension of the elbow. The second muscle is the extensor carpi ulnaris, which originated from the lateral epicondyle, also inserted into the uh, base or posterior surface of the base of the fifth metacarpal. The action of this muscle extension and adduction of the hand around the elbow joints. This one is the extensor digitimini, and this is the extensor digitorum. These two muscles also originate from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus inserted into the middle, the proximal, middle, and distal phalanx or phalanges. The action of those muscles, extension of the hand around the wrist joints and extension of the interphalanges, interphalangeal joints. Now, the last one or fifth one is the extensor carpi radialis brevis originated from the lateral epicondyle, which is the common extensor tendon, inserted into the base of the fifth of the third meta, metacarpal bone. The action of this muscle plus the extensor carpi radialis longus, extension of the hand and adduction of the hand around the wrist joints. This is the extensor retinaculum. Now more deep, the extensor compartment has also muscles deeply, which is the supinator. This one is the supinator, just deep to that of the brachioradialis. This is the brachioradialis. This is the brachioradialis. And this is the supinator. The supinator originated from the lateral epicondyle and the olecranon process of the ulna inserted into the radius. The action of this muscle, extension of plus supination. The three muscles, those, the adductor, the abductor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis brevis, will extensor pollicis longus. All originate from the posterior surface of the radius and ulna. Here, the radius and ulna. The abductor originate from the posterior surface of the radius and ulna and interosseous membrane. The brevis arise from the posterior surface of the radius, while the longus arise from the posterior surface of the ulna. The insertion of those muscles <coughs> comes uh, gradually. The abductor into the base of the first metacarpal, the brevis into the proximal phalanx, while the longus into the distal phalanx. The extensor indices, no? 